PM's regular select board meeting um, at 5.40. Um, we have people in the audience that are here for six o'clock. Welcome. Um, we're going to start with approving the minutes of July 23rd, 2024 special meeting, action likely. Um, and then approving the agenda for August 6th, which is just this little agenda here, action likely. Okay. Um, so is there a motion for approving the July 2023, uh, 23rd uh, minutes? I make that motion. Okay. Zara moves. Moves to approve. Okay. And um, Randy seconds. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Okay. Um, is there, are there any amendments to the agenda? Two revenue permits for that French. I think there's one other person. There. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah. Zach French and Richard Bradley. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, with that, with that um, uh, amendment to the agenda, is there anyone who'd like to move to approve the August 6th? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that would be Randy. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, Vic seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we also have uh, Peter, Peter on the Zoom. Okay, hi, Peter. Bye. Um, Okay, so our next thing is approving modification to the emergency watershed program agreement with the New England engineers due to the July 10th, 2024 flood, um, granting the select board chair authority to sign the Department of Environmental Conservation stream alteration in U.S. Army Corps of Engineers permits and considering the maintenance agreements for these EWP projects going forward action likely. Okay, so we have this here. Is there someone that wants to talk about this? Um, oh, okay, Lincoln. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we have Lincoln. For, oh, Andrew, uh, you can tell us who you are. Right here in front. There we go. This is the mic for the for okay. folks on Zoom. <laughs> I bet I bet they can hear me here, right? Lincoln Prasca with Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, and I've been helping to facilitate the Emergency Watershed Protection Program and working with Adrian Conservation Commission, as well as New England Consulting Engineers. Um, the one item also on tonight's agenda, hopefully in action, would be to approve the increase in budget for the engineering design. There's an additional $1,800 needed to um, finish up some, some work that was created because of the July 24 storm. Um, and I believe, you know, folks saw correspondence, hopefully the select board saw the emails with the NRCS that that money is still in, in your pot. I uh, would leave, it would leave the town with $2,000 for administrative expenses without having to go back to the NRCS for more money. Um, so it would be the increase in that budget, um, approving the, the landowner agreement and operation and maintenance plan, which takes the um, takes the requirement off of the town to maintain these projects and puts it onto the landowner. And it also is a formal commitment for the landowner that they're committing for this project so that when we bring the project to construction bid, we're not worried about losing projects uh, at that stage in the, in the program. And then lastly, with the permits that Liz mentioned, there's going to be a few changes based on this last storm. And those are two required permits. There's a DEC stream alteration permit from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, self-verification permits. So we want to wait until we have all those squared away and then just get those signed all at once instead of having them one by one come to you. Okay. So, um, so the modification is 1800 Yes. Okay. So did you guys get that email about how there was a slight increase, but we still had some money left over? Correct. Um, so, um, so I think when we're thinking about this, we could make one giant motion, do you think? Okay. So um, so the next one is allowing me to sign for these permits because you're not quite ready yet to do these permits. Um, and then uh, I thought there was a third thing. What was the third thing? Yeah, the, the third thing. Um, would it be to approve the landowner agreement and operation and maintenance plan. Okay, the landowner agreement and operations and maintenance plan. Got a copy of all the same. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, Randy. Um, so the, the town staff feel that the leftover budget of the $2,000 leaves us enough. Are there any other questions? 
Okay. Do you have any questions, Nick? I do not. Okay. Um, okay, so is there a motion um, to uh, approve the modification with the extra $1,800 for the EWP agreement um, that's due July, or no, that's because of the July 10, 2024 flood, um, and also granting me, the select board chair, authority to sign um, the permits that are going to be forthcoming, um, and and also to consider the uh, landowner agreements and maintenance plans. I'd like to make that motion as stated by Melissa. Okay. Vic makes that motion. Is there a second? No. Okay. I'll second. Okay. Um, so Zara seconds. All those in favor of that very big motion say aye. 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 Okay. The ayes have it. Okay. So, wow. Now we're right on schedule. 545. Woo. Um, I don't believe so. Okay. Yeah, it is. I, you know, and a digital signature is okay. Sorry. A digital signature yeah. is okay. Yeah. All right. And we'll we'll give the, those to you soon. Okay. Great. Okay. Um. Okay. So then we have the draft permit application. Done. Okay. So um, if you no. The application. Oh. And also. Can you tell us about it? So the uh, permit, I sent the, we have the increasing requests that you know for people wanting to, hold on. Sorry. So we have uh, increasing requests for, uh, from people, uh, either want to, a lot of them want to run CB power lines underneath, fiber lines underneath roads, and we've had one or two come forward and there are others pending and there is a way to do this. And I talked to Rob Halpert, I talked to other towns, and I used Callis's right-of-way application, use of right-of-way application and their permit. I sent the permit, the draft permit to Rob. Rob made some changes. Uh, he made, he got the permit back to me on Monday. So you might want to just pass over this and we can go on to it at the 20th. But uh, we should probably pass it pretty soon before construction season stops because people want to get this stuff done. This is a streamlined way of making sure that uh, landowners have obligations, they pay attention to the obligations, the town, we know where they where the lines are for power, water, and fiber or cable. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So this is like a two-page application. Right, and then if the application is approved, then you issue the permit. And so Rob says the application is fine. Oh, and this is the permit. And then the permit. Gotcha, so this is the application and this is the permit. Correct. Okay. Rob still has feedback on the permit, is that what we Yeah, Rob has reviewed the permit, they changed that they're in there now. Right. So your suggestion to pass over and not approve this? Well, I mean, if you guys haven't been able to read it, you know, if you okay. feel like, if you don't feel secure about it, I, mean, I, I feel secure enough to make a motion that we, I feel secure enough too. Yeah. I do. So I'll make a motion that we go ahead and use this new application for a permit to use town right of way. And also the permit. And also the permit. And, and Dick seconds it. Zara moves in Dick seconds. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor of said motion? Aye. 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 Okay, the ayes have it. And um, then we have a couple of driveway permits that are added. So we have a driveway permit for Richard Bradley on um, West Hill, let's see, no, wait. also known as Zero Macy Road. Um, proposed access will be located 1,400 feet from the intersection of this road to West Hill Road. So it sounds like it's right on the corner. Okay. Is Eric here or no? Okay. He's right there. Oh, there he is. Where? Where are you, Eric? We're at the Richard Bradley Road Driveway Permit. Yeah, that's what I'm here with. And we have a second. Okay. Is there a second? Second. And um, there, you, you're saying there's no culvert needed due to the driveway will be at the top of the hill. Okay. And what are these pictures here? This is the state. That's the state. The state, state standards. Okay. So based on the where this driveway is located, yeah, it's on the crest of the hill. Okay. Okay. Any questions about this driveway permit, folks? 
Can you go with it? I'm good with it. Okay. No. Dick, you good with it? I am. Okay, Randy, you good with it? All righty. Uh, anyone in the public have anything to say about this driveway permit? Okay. Well, sometimes people do. <laughs> Okay, so um, I move to approve uh, the Richard Bradley uh, driveway permit as it sits. Okay, is there a second? Second that. Big seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the next one is Zachary French and Richard French mailing addresses 58. I don't know what that is. 58. Not, 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 not road. Not road? Or is it? The application there? doesn't. It just said, state. oh, okay, so yeah, it's just the mailing address. Okay, so it's not road. It's right across from the uh, <laughs> town pit. It's an right across from the town pit. It's an existing entrance. Right. And it's located approximately 0.2 miles from the intersection of this road to Mead Road. Okay. Um, and they want to construct a new access. And Did you say it was Eric a said, this is an existing entrance, nothing more needed other than clearing back some brush at the end for line of sight. Is there a culvert needed? Is there even a need for the uh, application if it's an existing entrance? I wasn't sure, so I just went and looked at it. Better safe, I'm sorry. Yeah, probably good to check. And it doesn't need a culvert? Okay. Already, any further questions on the Zachary French and Richard French application? Mm -hmm. Is there a motion? All motion to approve. Is there a move to approve? Is there a second? Dick second. So all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All righty. And we conclude our meeting at 650, I mean 551. And we are beginning to welcome guests to our six o'clock meeting. So this meeting will adjourn until six o'clock for a